Let's quickly summarize what we know about variation so far before we um, touch those inverse variation problems. Yeah? We have direct variation, inverse variation. And we know with direct variation the general equation is y equals kx. Yeah? So if y is directly proportional to x, and then y equals a particular constant times x. So you've got to find that constant and then you can yeah, create the equation belonging to that situation. And if you would sketch that in a graph, yeah, if that would be y and that is x, then direct proportion, it will go through the origin and it's a line like that, yeah, a straight line. All lines are straight, but that's a line. Okay, now inverse proportion, we know that if we sketch it, yeah, because that's what I showed in the previous video. If we sketch it, we do not get a line, no. We actually get a curve, yeah, which is approaching the y-axis, which is approaching the x-axis, but it's never yeah, intersecting those axes. What does the general equation look like? Yeah, so for direct proportion, it's y equals kx. But for inverse proportion, it is y equals a constant divided by x. Okay, and for the rest you approach those questions similarly. y equals a constant divided by x. Okay, so knowing that we can answer these questions now. y is inversely proportional to x and y is 2 when x is 4. Find the value of y when x is 16. A lot of information um, important information is inversely proportional. So y is inversely proportional to x, so I can write down that y equals a constant divided by x. Okay, because it's inverse proportion. That could be my first step. Now my second step is to find out, yeah, okay, so what is the value of that constant? Yeah? Well, they tell me that y is 2 when x equals 4. Okay, y is 2 when x equals 4. Now, rearranging this formula, huh, isolating k, I multiply both sides by 4, yeah, because by doing so, I am getting rid of that denominator. So, 4 times 2, 8 equals k. So the equation belonging to this question is y equals 8 divided by x. Yeah? Inverse proportion y equals k over x. And we just found out that that constant k is 8. I'm not done yet because they asked me, well, I'll find the value of y when x is 16. Yeah? If I continue here, I'll put a little 3 there, my last step. What is y when x is 16? Well, y equals 8 over x. So y equals 8 over 16. Now your calculator can simplify that for you. Have fractions you always have to simplify. But I hope you see that the common factor is 8. So y equals 1 over 2. y equals 1 over 2 when x equals 16. And if I just grab this one back. The larger x gets uh, with inverse proportion, the smaller y gets. It will never go to zero y, but it goes really, really, where it gets really, really low. Yeah, When x is 4, y was 2. Yeah, So the smaller x is, the higher the value for y, inverse variation. Okay, now let's go to the next video for another example.